Hey everyone, before this video starts, I'd like to give a special thank you to all my Patreon and Twitch subscribers. If you'd like to learn how to support this channel, possibly for free, just hang out till the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt. TikTok sucks now and call out creators ruined it. Hey, Brian Beard. I'm not, I'm not, I gotta say, I don't disagree with you, Ryan. I'm not even. What, what happened here? I'm not even gonna attempt to talk about the drama the that is currently happening on TikTok because like, <laughs> Who the hell even knows what's going on at this point? All I really want to say is that I think TikTok sucks now. True. I pretty much never spend time on this app anymore. Like, I used to True. scroll on this app for hours a day, and now I spend maybe like 30 minutes or less a day on TikTok. I think the app really started going downhill last year when it got taken. When they banned Papa God, of course. <laughs> over by all these middle-aged people with massive egos okay okay ryan okay ryan you know i was making a little joke here okay about how it got bad once they banned me and then you gotta make fun of me dude <laughs> what the hell bro <laughs> oh my god that's funny though i guess he's not really wrong i feel like listen i feel like there's nothing wrong with older people having some fun on TikTok. TikTok is a social platform. Like, I think that it's great that people get to dance and do thirst traps and all that, but I think that there's a space for reasonable commentary. My issue is that commentary on TikTok is horrible. There's issues on YouTube as well with people just jumping down into each other's throats just for the sake of it. Absolutely, but it's so much worse on TikTok. Everything. And it's because you get like, you only get re reasonably, people don't really do like, oh, let me do like a fucking three minute video about a topic. They don't go into depth because like nobody's going to watch that. That's what they're, that's their mentality. Nobody's going to watch three minutes of me trying to articulate myself. But also a lot of these content creators, they can't be entertaining for three minutes. It's the reality of the situation. Hey, thank you so much for the sub, brother. Subscribed. They can't even be entertaining for three minutes or they don't really have the depth of or, or, or knowledge on whatever topic they're talking about to talk about it for more than 15 seconds. They know... They have a general idea, and then they know like some weak supporting arguments that people will just like fucking eat eat down. <laughs> That's just so true. <laughs> but with the second that you give them like anything longer, you give them tell them, to, "Hey, speak for three minutes," <sighs> and it's like they just start vomiting all over themselves. It's true. People don't really have the the capacity to be like sit down and actually express like an intelligent thought. And like Ryan's one of the people who can, which is why he's doing well on YouTube. And like I I I like to say I like to uh, um. I like to make myself believe that the planet Earth does turn slowly for me as well. I like to think that I, I, I at least understand how to speak longer than 15 seconds and be able to articulate myself. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of people who are just looking for places to hate people. They're just looking for like really quick, toxic engagements. They like it. Because people are violent inherently. And I've talked about this before, but people are inherently like violent in some capacity. And they enjoy like hatred. And that hatred now, of course, you can't beat each other up. That's illegal. So what you got to do is you got to go call out somebody uh, and you're going to hold them accountable. But what you really do is you, you you put in the description, hold this person accountable, which means like just harass the shit out of them uh, violently. And don't go, hey, jump over to their Instagram and call them the N-word. You know, that's what it really means without directly saying it. That's what TikTok is. It's a place for people to jerk each other. It's a place for people, no offense, but pe for unintelligent people to engage in social commentary without a lens of actually trying to educate themselves um, to just scream virtue signal and propagate hatred against other people. That's what it is. And there are people like Ryan who, who have more depth, but most of them don't. Most people don't. And you see the people who have depth are gravitating away from TikTok, right? That's just what's happening because they realize that it's not a comfortable space. Um, and that's just the reality, man. Where their content is the same thing every single day and they find some random working class person and say, go harass their job, go True. call their job over and over to get them fired. Like, do they not realize that by sending thousands of people to harass these random jobs, they're probably wasting the time of minimum wage workers? Not even that, but it's one of those things where, especially for like, listen, everybody is flawed. And so you'll have people, a lot of times it's like, oh, this woman won't wear a mask on the plane. Listen, I think you should wear a mask. 
adhere to mask mandates. But do you really like they'll call people and be like, we have to find out their job history because they didn't comply with like mask mandates. And it's like, holy fuck, like not for nothing. But you don't know what those people are going through. You don't know if they've had a bad day. And you know what? Check this out. Airlines, they have security guards. They can handle it. Now, we all like a good Karen and looking at it and laughing at it. And I'm not saying don't put it on social media so we can laugh at this some dumb asshole who doesn't do it. But they don't need to lose their fucking jobs. Okay, hot take. And you want to know what? When you cancel somebody over something like that, it just makes them double down on the behavior. That's just how people operate. Like, it's just you're not doing a positive thing by canceling somebody for a bad behavior. It causes people to double down. It pushes them into that sphere of like, I'm going to do this more. So you're not even doing anything positive. You're just giving an outlet for a bunch of like, like shitty people to be shittier. You're just let out. You're lending into the idea that it's okay to cancel people as long as you're being virtuous. Yeah, I could shoot somebody in the head with a gun as long as they steal a candy bar because technically what they're doing is wrong. So any response, regardless of how disproportionate, is totally okay to do. That's what you're advocating for, disproportionate responses. That's not how you deal with people. You're supposed to, like, the punishment fits the crime. Just like you're not going to fucking hang somebody who steals a candy bar, it's the same reason reason that you're not going to completely cancel somebody in their existence from from a job because they didn't wear a mask or something along those lines some people have really bad days people with bad days tend to also blow up and do like wrong things it's just the reality of the situation here okay and don't get me wrong, I have nothing against calling out terrible people, but it feels like the activism on TikTok has turned away from trying to address systemic issues and turned towards all these creators with massive egos who think that they're all vigilantes like Batman going around <laughs> and harassing and doxing oh. random working class people if they decide that they're a bad person. That's all it is. Yeah, no, like I said, they, these people feel... Like they're justified in their hatred. It's it's it, like cancel culture. Very very few times that canceling somebody is a reasonable response. Like if they do something really horrible, right? Like if you hurt a child, obviously canceled. Like nay nay, get out of here, bro. Go to an island. We know what that means on this channel, okay? But like when somebody does a bad thing, like that's not calling somebody out. Is like, hey, here's why you're wrong, and here's the education. And like I've had bad moments on TikTok before where I got too edgy, but like. The majority of my content was trying to do reasonable callouts and educate people on different things like I do on my YouTube. I just allowed myself to go down a bad path. Um, but like it's missing now, man. It's just it's just missing. It's just intelligence is missing from the from the content creator community. Or from the from the um commentary community most people don't even have any depth of understanding about any topic that they're even talking about i mean we listened to that dinesh guy i think or what is his name before not even have like a like a a, a reasonable understanding of like um fuck, what was the word intersectionality it's like people just use words and like they they get a very ba like a very shallow education on stuff and they're just like yep, yep uh, intersectionality buzzwords it's like well do you really know could you sit down and like really talk about the way intersectionality manifests in different aspects of different people's lives and like the way that it can happen you probably don't do that and then every like two days there's some new drama where now this person is a racist no that person's a racist oh how could you have possibly supported this person they're a racist and they just like attack and eat each other constantly could eat me ryan these people will say abolish the police and then turn around and use their millions of followers as their own personal police force to go harass <laughs> people True. That's true. Also, Ryan, I uh, I know that you probably are like an ACAB guy or abolish the police. Personally, I'm for reformation, dude. Fight me. But yeah, that is actually a good point. Like, it's just like they want to. That's really what it is. Because if we if truly abolish the police, you can have a bunch of militias running around. That's what the ANCAPs like. Anarcho capitalists are like, hey, abolish the police. We'll just have a private citizen run their own police station. Blah, 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 blah. blah. And it's like, okay, yeah, put power in people's hands. And that's the problem. TikTok is also it's a it's a social police station and it, it goes as deep as that TikTok leans into it. There is already an aspect, a really toxic aspect that people with bigger followings don't have to actually be educated on anything. They could just say what they want and their their followers are going to double down on their confirmation bias and say this person's right because I know who this person is. It's already a problem. The additional issue on TikTok is you can't even defend yourself because TikTok, something that's good about YouTube, they still have that general problem where bigger content creators don't need to be 
um, have as much understanding of what they're talking about. People will just double down on their confirmation bias. But YouTube takes like a solid stance of like, here's the line, don't cross it when it comes to particular content that's made. TikTok does not have that. TikTok says, oh, how many reports does it have versus views? Boom, done. That, that video is gone. We're taking it down. Oh, you want to appeal? Well, you can appeal it, but we're not going to allow you to describe why you're appealing it. It's a really shitty process. And so what ends up happening is like you have a big content creator will bully the shit out of a small content creator, whether they're right or wrong, doesn't matter. And that person can't even sit down and articulate themselves as to why what they did was wrong. Because guess what happens again? Another fucking attack on their video and their video gets pulled down. You can't even you can't even speak in any nuanced context if you are controversial in any capacity. And it is such a toxic aspect of the app. And it's a huge problem with TikTok. And of course, I'm not saying that we should never call out racist people, but the content has just become so boring and repetitive and stale. And Well, Ryan, okay, if we're going to call out racists, and we're going to have to do it right now because I, I got something to show you, brother. We're going to have to call out this racist, Ryan. Of that black people are violent criminals. You can't believe you just said that, Ryan. Oh my god, Ryan, what are you doing? Why would you say that? How could you say that? Of that black people are violent criminals. You can't believe you just said that, Ryan! I'm just kidding, brother. You, you, you. <laughs> that was a clip from a- that was a joke clip from a video that Ryan was- he wasn't saying that. <laughs> That's just funny to me. <laughs> it's a funny clip to me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Out of context. Yep. Very out of context. And stupid. And all of these creators are so annoying. Like, can't we just cool it down and focus on figuring out how to make life better for people instead of attacking each other constantly? I feel like... You, th you should have thrown shade at the people that needed the shade, uh, Ryan. You would have... That, that's what you should have done. TikTok is... But then you would have engaged in, like, drama on TikTok, and you, it would have just been not unnecessary stress. Just become a worse version of Twitter. It's not fun anymore. It's just stressful and stupid, and I don't like it. It's fair enough, Ryan. I agree. Listen, let me tell you something right now, Ryan. I love these hot takes from you. They're my favorite, because then I get to make a YouTube video about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout-out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below, where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page, and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.